looks quite simple. It looks actually quite a simple move, doesn't it? It is. What would you say it could add to somebody's distance in terms of speed or? What it could do? Yeah. Oh, like 20 yards plus. Really? Yeah. They're gonna look yeah. at you. Look yeah. like you're an athlete, right? Uh huh. I think the oldest guy that I had was 82. There you go. Yeah. And he he increased his club at speed by 10 miles an hour in go. one lesson. There you go. Just like yeah. that. Yeah. Launched it. Launched it. That was actually pretty good. Yeah. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> So with the World Long Drive Challenge, Martin Borgmeier, and just like you, I would love to get a few extra yards out of my game. So I brought the main man to hopefully give me two or three buttons. Imagine being able just to press a couple of buttons in your swing to gain maybe three, four, five, ten extra yards. Well, hopefully this guy today is going to do that to me, and hopefully that's going to help you too. So, how are you going to get started? Well, I believe first like the bottom line of all of this of distance in general yeah and learning from long drive because i mean that's what we want to do right we don't want to become a long driver no but we want to learn and find the right elements in the long drive world what we can transfer to golf yeah so first of all the bottom line is be an athlete yeah allow yourself to be an athlete how do you what so do you mean how i learned golf and how i was taught to play golf was very static yeah, yeah. so I was supposed to keep my feet rooted, right? And rotate around my own body, and then at some point make contact, Yeah. right? So in long drive, and what we can learn from long drive is that we're actually allowed to use our feet and actually allowed to, to shift weight. Yes, right? yeah, yeah. So off the ball, what I want to create is, I want to create, or when I want to start to create speed off the ball already. So when I address the golf ball, I cannot recommend you guys more to actually allow yourself to rock your feet a little bit, right? Have a creative feel for where your body is actually in space and then shift your, your body off the ball and create speed from the get-go. Right. In long drive, we do that like crazy, Extra right? Yeah, in, yeah, in long yeah. drive, I shift like boom over yeah. here and then like try to speed it up. So this but is just a little bit, like a little bit of motion before you actually take the way, take away the club yeah. can help you to create speed from the get-go. So, so that's going to create speed, but by, by, by not doing too much, you're still getting the consistency of direction. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we're obviously lacking a, bit, a little bit of consistency in long drive because we're we're not supposed to put the first one in play, right? We're yeah. not supposed to hit the fairway all the time or hit bad shots in the first cut, but our bad shots can actually be wherever because an OB ball is an OB ball. Yeah, 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 so yeah. for you guys out there, we have a 60 yard grid and we have six tries in two minutes, 30 seconds and the best one counts. So we can hit five balls wherever, as long as we hit the that one ball, 400 plus yards, we're, most of the time we're good. So movement yeah. is good. It depends, yes. Yeah. Let, let's say static golf is not made for distance. Got it. Right? So if we want to gain distance, we got to allow ourselves to be an athlete, and that comes with motion. Can you demonstrate it for us? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm, I'm a little special with T height. Okay. Obviously, because in, in long drive, now this, this driver that I hit is a two and a half degree. So, two because at degree. some point with crazy speed, you actually got to decrease loft a little bit okay. because otherwise the ball would just balloon up in the air right. with, with spin. And would you so, recommend m uh, more people going for more height with tees? Does that help? Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, height in general, like actually getting the ball up in the air can help with distance. So we'll come back yeah. to that in a second. In a second. But uh, that that's probably button three or bu uh, bu okay. button two okay. maybe. Okay, Let's okay, see. okay. Let's, Let's start with movement. Let's see what we find so there. Us what movement but in is. The, first, the first bit is actually allow yourself to feel where your pressure in your feet and your body moves to actually feel like you can whoosh, create speed in the very beginning of your swing, whoosh, over okay. here. So that's where, where it's actually starting. And when you break it down, your pressure in your feet is actually pushing to that side to eventually move your body right and then create speed from the get-go. Got it. So it's that, that's how I would break it down. Does it feel like I do that in these steps? Yeah, no, it's no, like no, one yeah, fluid yeah. motion eventually. Yes. But if I had to break it down, it's like the very last bit is like pressure over here, shift right, and then boom, yeah. speed up the golf ball, uh, okay. speed up the golf club. So to me, it's like I tap a little bit, and then eventually I got this little trigger that helps me to create speed. And what I'm noticing as you're doing this as well, and, yeah. and you can kind of learn from this is, 
there's always motion in the way you're approaching. You, yeah. you, you know, even just your approach to the golf ball, you're not kind of just static, then doing it. It's kind of like there's a whole motion to the, to the movement and your setup, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 100%. I mean, when you look out on tour, you see that more and more. Not yes. this extreme, yeah. but you see a lot more motion going on. You see these waggles, right? You see a lot of tapping down here. And then at some point they pull the trigger. Yeah. But also when you look at Rory, when you look at DJ, all of them shift away from the ball before they actually take away the club. But it's just not that extreme. No. You have to look at it, really yes. look for yeah, it yeah, to yeah. find it. But there's a little trigger involved. I mean, people like Matt Wolf, right? That's like yeah. crazy what yeah. they do. Some people are out there definitely doing yeah. it that crazy. Henrik Stenson has this little like shift, whoosh, shift yeah, to the yeah. right and then he's Same starting. Does. I mean, there's these triggers out there, yeah. but just not as extreme as in long drive. But definitely, it's definitely a movement that we can learn from and that's getting you set for distance very early. So show us it, you gotta show okay. us you hit it. The guys are itching to, to see it. Oh, 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 oh. launched it, launched it. That was it. actually pretty good, yeah. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> So going into button number two, yeah. so we've got movement, we've got flow, what's next? So with that speed, so we, we apply the speed very, very early and with authority, right? We allow ourselves to be athletes and actually create speed from the get-go into the club. Now we want to utilize that speed in the backswing to complete a full turn. Okay. So what's happening with actually creating speed down here and early is we have a way easier time to complete the backswing. Yeah. So let me demonstrate this. So if I would take away the club slowly, I would have a very hard time actually rotating my floor rates like all the way back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It's so super hard when you do it slowly. Yeah. But when you do it quickly, just like loading, a, a spring, like right? Like la yeah, it's I'll put way back, yeah. easier to just pull yeah. it quickly compared to doing it slowly, yeah. right? So utilizing that to actually allow yourself to create a full turn and rotate as much as you can. Yeah. Because with that, what's happening is a lot of people consciously try to restrict their turn to create to keep the backswing shorter and create more consistent strikes. It can make sense at some point, but when we look at distance, yeah, and pure yeah. distance, we need speed. And by creating or completing that turn, we create actually a longer hand path on the way back and on the way down as well, which leaves us more time and distance to create speed. So if you're kind of putting, trying to put the club into specific positions, that's going to affect it massively, isn't it? If, you, if it's too controlled on the way back, you've got no chance of really making that extra increasing hand path and therefore it's going to cost you what, what would you say when you've done this and you've expanded it what would you say it could add to somebody's distance in terms of speed or what it could do yeah oh like 20 yards plus really yeah uh, definitely amazing i mean you gotta you gotta get used to all these motions and really gotta feel out what you want to implement for your core swing yeah right because in the very beginning it's when you always when you've always been in this kind of robotic way of approaching golf yeah it's very tough to let go in the very beginning and yeah. actually allow yourself to be an athlete. So true. It, it is because we're all used to like control, 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 control. Yeah. But you got to let go because to gain distance, it's actually the opposite in the very beginning. And then it's getting back into a control mode. Yeah. But first, we got to leave it. Exp experience it. Exactly. Then dial it back. Then dial it back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's my my usual approach to speed and distance all the time because in the very beginning you gotta let go yeah you, you gotta get the speed going and completely ignore the result got because it. you gotta go speed first and then eventually we gotta translate that new speed into distance and is there there's gonna be people out there gonna be going they're gonna look at you and look, yeah. look you're an athlete right uh-huh and so there's gonna be people out there of all different ages these first two buttons, are they, I mean, looking at button one, that's not going to affect, you could be, you know, a senior golfer and still have movement in your swing, couldn't you? It, I mean, I had, I think the oldest guy that I had was 82. There you go, yeah. And he, he increased his club at speed by 10 miles an hour in go. one lesson. There you go. Just like yeah, that. Yeah. Because he realized like, oh, okay, I, I'm, I'm not supposed to like keep my feet rooted like crazy. And yeah. I'm like, no, no yeah. you're not. 
and it actually benefited him a lot. And he, I still get emails from him like today. He's like, hey, I still, I'll, I mean, I'll drive my guys like every round. It's awesome and blah, blah, blah. He's, he, he loves it. Awesome. And I mean, there might be people out there that are like, hey, I've, I've never been an athlete. I've never really played any athletic sports or whatever it might be. This is not for me. Yeah, then you might not be the guy to chase speed and distance. That's yeah. okay, right? There's numerous ways to play golf, yeah. right? Then maybe equipment changes help yeah, you like the, to gain that extra distance, yeah. right? Because you want to find the right loft and the right driver for you to gain that extra distance. Yeah. But there's, well, with these athletic motions, there's a lot more distance to gain than with anything else because your swing is what makes you hit the ball far. It is the swing. So two buttons. Yeah. Are there now any, number three, do you want to? Are there number, is, there, is there number three? Yeah, we got to go to number three. Okay, I mean, on. now we got the back swing, right? We got, oops. Oops. There we go. We might still need these balls. So now we got button number one, which is the takeaway. Then button number two is the back swing, right? And the back swing length. So we got the length, we got the hand path length. And now button number three, would be the downswing and how I initiate the downswing. Okay. So, a couple things to that. So, I feel when I initiate my downswing, I feel a lot in my left foot. Right. So, my left foot and my left side in general is absolutely key in the downswing. Why is that? There's a couple things to it. So the first bit is, when I'm, as soon as I'm up here, what happens a lot out there is that the shoulders and the pelvis with a lot of amateur golfers move at the same time. Yes. So they move into the downswing like this. Yeah. Which does two things. One, it's not very efficient because the pelvis is actually not guiding the thorax to turn. Yeah. So actually sequencing wise, separation wise, you want the pelvis to move first and then you want those shoulders to move because each segment is speeding up the swing, yeah, right? Yeah. One after the other. And the next bit is by doing this, you create a path that shows left, right? Goes left, turns into slices yeah, yeah. or pulls depending on where the face points, yeah. right? So all in all, it's not very efficient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not the way to go. So now, thinking of the lower body as the left side, the left leg, the left foot, rather than the pelvis, can help a lot of people to know what's actually going on. Because so rather the, pel think, rather yeah, the think pelvis of this. is a bone, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah, freaking yeah. bone yeah. that is being moved by something, something down something here, down there, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. So you either rotate, you internally and externally rotate the yep. legs, right? Or the, the, the bones right yeah. there, or you lift your left foot off the ground and that's somewhat rotating it, yeah. right? So at some, so something is moving the pelvis. Yes. The pelvis itself, right, is a freaking bone that- But like, you can't see people do it. They try and get their hips up at all the time yeah. by trying to do this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just I, tough it's, to move. Yeah, you can move it a little yeah, bit, yeah, yeah. but it's not really driving. No, it, right? there's no power there. Exactly. So now thinking of that left foot to actually drive that can be a trigger for you guys out there to actually move your pelvis the right way and early and first. So what I do and what I like to do is now in the backswing, lift your left foot off the ground, your left heel, just yeah. a little bit, not because I, I mean, it can help with rotation too and all that, but actually to really feel what's initiating the downswing. Yeah, so if you've lifted and it once, the idea you is get it by down again. Lift it up. Yeah. And then first thing you do, just before you move your hands up here, almost feel like you create a little pause up here. Slam that thing down. And I've seen, I've seen you down. practicing that as well. I've seen you practicing this kind of almost like... Yeah, so I mean, what, what I do when I, when I do this, yes. it does a lot of things. It moves pressure forward. It initiates that first motion, like all that, absolutely. Yeah. It's just one of my triggers to initiate it the correct way. Yeah. It does a lot of things. Also, when, when you do this, it creates the right force output and all that. It can do a lot of, yeah. lot of things. And it looks quite simple. But, it looks actually quite a simple move, doesn't it? It is. Yeah. It is super, I mean, it, it, it looks super simple just doing this, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, totally, but do it. But, but it's kind of like finding the rhythm and the timing of that, isn't it? Yeah, so I've made the experience you almost can't do it too early. Right. It's like, just do it as early as you can. 
as soon when, as it when feels, you say uh, when you say early, you're gonna explain because some of those guys. Yeah, are not yeah. Gonna early, so, early. I mean, um, so when you're on your way back and still rotate, you're almost supposed to move your pelvis before the thorax has completed its turn. Yeah. So it's almost like this. Some people yeah. call it like the X factor, yeah, like X yeah, factor yeah. stretch or whatever. That's right? still turning while that's going the other exactly. way. Exactly. Yeah, well, yeah. that's already already going forward. Yeah. And because it's very tough to actually feel this still moving backwards and that already has moved forward, yeah. I like to call it just move your left foot down, like stomp your left foot down yeah. as early as you can. Yeah, and yeah, early yeah. meaning like your hands are still on the way up and you already slam it down. So for some people, because they're not used to it, you, you could almost feel like they're almost going to start stamping down uh -huh. maybe even here. Uh-huh. Yeah. It, it might, to some people, it might feel like just after down here, the takeaway. Like, yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah. And yeah. then check your video. Yeah. Film yourself face on and see what's actually happening. And I guarantee you guys, it's not what you feel. So true, yeah. Like the feel and reality sometimes is over here and over there, yeah, right? Yeah. So just film that. But it might be a great feel to just be like, okay, I just want to stomp down as early as I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's going to do a lot of things. And one is like moving in the right sequence. Come on then, show you us. Want, it, want me to show, show you? This is the big one. Okay, this just is the big move one. it up here. Whoop, and then slam down. All right. Just move it off the ground a little bit. <laughs> that was over the. That's over the, fence. the red light, right? It is. It is. <laughs> over the red light over there. Let's hit another one. <laughs> because what that does as well, it's it's so cool this move because it does a lot of things. With that motion, actually, when I stomp down, I try to keep my torso on the right side. Right. Which puts me like when I when I press like this, it's it's almost like the the force almost moves in a straight line. And are you are you want to look looking at that? You want you look like you're almost trying to get this way up on it. Is that right? Did, did you like try to go lefty swing now? Sorry? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you went lefty swing, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so from yeah, here. I, I want to stay here yeah. because what's happening so by like, doing this is I actually swing up on the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right yeah. compared to doing this. Yes. Yeah, this, yeah. this way I swing down on the ball. Yeah. So I actually try to stay back to launch the ball up in the air by going and hitting up on it. Yeah, yeah. It's the opposite with irons. Yeah, yeah. So this does not apply to irons, yeah. right? But with drivers, we just try to hit it as far as we can, right? Yeah. So this is a great move to do so. And now people say like, yeah, but I always want to do the same swing. Yeah. If you want to hit it far, that's not the way it works, right? right you awesome. you got to do two two different things. I mean, you don't putt this way, right? Allow yeah. yourself to be an athlete, so you got to complete different motions. Yeah, that's the way it is. Cool. Okay, so once again, just try to catch it clean. Maybe a little more right. This this mat somewhat kind of aims hey, over look at there. It, right? it's cut, it's cut. Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah, it does. Yeah. So that, that's okay. That's okay. A little bit off the ground. Slam it down early, and stay right. That was pretty hammered. That was pretty hammered. Yeah. That is a 197, and I think that should go, oh yeah, it does go over the net. <laughs> <laughs> Mine. Yeah, so that, that's that is, like the move. That is awesome, Eddie. Oops. Super. Thank you, Super Dan. good. So, do me a favor, go and follow this guy on his YouTube channel. He's doing some amazing, amazing stuff. So we've got three buttons. we got almost dancing. Get those feet, speed, speed, speed at the start. Yep. yep. And then we got complete the step, back complete the backswing, and three, stomp it down. And take time on one button at a time. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks so much for Callaway for putting on this amazing show here at Top Golf with their brand spanking new Paradigm Drivers. That's See you next what it time. Is. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it with one of your friends. And of course, if you're new to the channel, come and join the channel by clicking that subscribe button and the bell. But until next week, have a great golfing week.